Now for something completely different. The world's most famous twins. Ah, they were robbed. Should have won Eurovision. That, of course, was John and Edward Grimes, better known as Jedward, who shot to fame on X Factor. After a string of albums, the lads are heading to Wales as part of their next uh, tour next month. I caught up with them a little earlier, and let's face it, it was never going to be a very straightforward interview, was it? Okay, John's the toy right now, but I could start the interview and then... Yeah, we'll that's fine. John that's fine. When he comes back, he will explain. Okay, so it's Edward, yeah. Edward, welcome to the hey, program. John's coming right now. John. 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 Come on, John. Okay, he's here, he's here. Is he? We'll just hey, start like here. normal. John! Hey, everyone. How are you? I'm great. I just came out, I just went to the toilet there. Yeah. Loads of fans screaming, crazy. Yeah. It's, <laughs> it's, 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 it, happens, it happens everywhere, doesn't it? I mean, I'm just thinking me as well. I've just been to the loo and it's, yeah. you know, they just, they, they follow you everywhere. Anyway, John and Edward, good to, good to have you both with us this afternoon. You, you're coming to Cardiff soon with your young love tour. I Very... know, we're so excited about coming to Cardiff. So I, I always really like the energy in Cardiff. Everyone's always up for a good time. Everyone always... Um, is like really into like um, going to concerts so I can't wait to bring our concert to it and hopefully everyone rocks out and what sort of show is it going to be boys what have you, what have you got specially planned well, for us basically okay we're performing it's the 30th of September it's going to be on the 30th and it's in St David's Hall right and it's going to be a really really loads of performing high energy songs we're going to be doing an acoustic set Ooh. we're going to be performing um, like um, playing guitar it's going to be like Jebber that you've never seen before it's going to be something for everybody I think people who might not be the biggest Jebber fan should come to the show and and see how much Jared have progressed and see how much we own the stage and how much... And we're, on st we're on stage for over two hours. Two yeah, hours? Two, That's two like Bruce Springsteen sort of uh, stand, yeah. isn't it? Because the thing about Bruce Springsteen is when yeah. he's on stage, it's just him and his band and yeah. he's rocking out and it's all about his stage work. Yeah. Like me and John, when we're in, in concert, we're not afraid to be spontaneous and do different things. Yeah. And I will bring our dancers. We're, it's going to be really, really cool. Because I know people saw us in X Factor like yeah. three years ago and our, our performances weren't as like big as we want them to be like me and John where we've like taken to the next level we've been working on um our stage performance our stage presence and our singing and I hope and we've had three albums so yeah. everyone check so we got out. a lot of songs to sing and the thing is I mean what about your guitar playing in who, who plays the guitar do you yeah, both I, play I, guitar I, I play guitar which one's that sorry John John, I John, play guitar. John, John, John got a Gibson guitar no it's like, it's like a really really he's really proud of it the guitar he what got, color is it John um, it's like a Cheryl Crow model. It's like a hummingbird. Oh, oh it's, lovely. It's cool. But there's a really great sound from it. And um, it's really great performing acoustic songs because you have so much control. Yeah, you can take your time. You can ask the audience if they want to sing a verse. It's yeah. really good. Yeah. And so that's, you know, that's a sort of the important bits out of the way. What's life like for you boys now? Because the hair's, what's happened to the hair? I'm a bit disappointed with the hair front. No, our hair hasn't changed. We, just, no? we, have, we have a hair, where hair is, we can wear it down, we can right. wear it spiky, we can wear it messy. We, so it's like, it's like a real cool haircut, that yeah. Jebbard haircut. I think li life for us right now, it's really, really busy. Like we're always either doing an interview or yeah. recording a video or doing photo shoots. But I think it's doing promotion. Like this year, we decided to promote in Australia and Ooh. Canada. So they're like totally taken to Jed. Edward, like they had us in all the biggest TV shows, and and the, the cool thing about me now is that at the moment, um, everything we're going to do next is going to be on a bigger scale because there's huge demand for us all across the world. Because when when we go to other countries, there's no one else like Jedward, but they have like the same boy band. I know, I know. Yeah. No, um, I, th I think you could say that in the universe. There's yeah. nothing quite like you two boys. I mean, I just don't limit it to the world. I think Thanks. the universe. Yeah. yeah. And, but yeah, but it's cool. But I think people like twins. I think um, um, it's good that we're brothers and that we're our group and that we we were, we were already. Where are you living other. now? Then where are you living these days? Where uh, is, is home still Ireland? Or are you in Britain? Or yeah, the, we're we're still in Dublin. We're right? always we always go home because I think it's good to go home, get focused, regenerate yourself. We're yeah. actually living in Cardiff. Don't tell anybody. Okay, we'll keep it quiet. We have a house in Cardiff, and which we, we, and we, it's our it's our getaway. <laughs> Are there any other Grimes at homes? Mum and dad? And um, brothers, well, sisters? We got our older brother, we right. got our mom, our yeah. dad, we got like eight dogs. Right. Our mom, Susanna Condren, is our tour manager. So really? She, she always organises everything. She'll get all the interviews ready. Yeah. When we need to get clothes, everything, she gets it all right. Yeah. Well, what's your big brother's name? Um, our brother's called Kevin, and he um, does like all. 
he, he he's like in college and he also has oh. he does like um training dogs and stuff. He's twenty two. Twenty two. So is is it a bit like you know when the um at the Osbournes? Was it the Osbournes? Yeah, yeah, no, um, no, it's not like that. No, no I was thinking because one of those didn't want to be famous. Uh, is, is he a bit like that? It's like I think it was Amy Osbourne didn't want to be on the on the on the program. Uh, is Kevin a little bit shy? Does he sing? Does he act? Does he do anything? Uh, or... I don't think he's he's definitely not shy. I think he um he like he's real proud that his brother John Edward yeah. and like he always does. Own own thing and um but like i'm the osbournes are like they do crazy stuff i think if, if we had a, a reality show like that where our whole family's involved it'd be like the brady bunch <laughs> i gotta say i i am a big fan lads okay I'm, i know i know we're, we're smiling here but i just i just love the thought of you as much as your music you know and, and that whole thing and because it has been absolutely incredible isn't it i'm just i've been yeah. looking on wikipedia i don't believe half of it you know but you know you know gordon brown i mean People say he might have lost the the last election because he said he he, he didn't like you that much. But then there's more to it than that. <laughs> do you think so? I wasn't I wasn't sure. I thought think we could pinpoint it to, to that statement. And then David Cameron wears a T-shirt with with you on yeah. it. And I you... think I think it's really good because people usually go, "Why are you a Jebbard fan?" Or mm -hmm. like, "Why like is it about the music?" But I think all girls and and guys they like the, they like who their idols are because of who they are as people yeah. and, then, and what they represent. Then the, then the music when they listen to the music that just emphasizes and they think about all the stuff that person's done for them and how they changed their life yeah. Yeah. It's, it's i mean it's three four five years since we got to know you are, are you changing are you maturing yeah, we are, are you... because we're like um we're writing our own songs Which is we're great. um playing guitar playing piano. i think i think it's great that me and john have that longevity that will always be there and that people talk about in general conversation yeah yeah and That's the whole cool. thing you know you're, you're branching out jedward and the beanstalk uh jedward branded <laughs> mobile phones is that yeah. true yes yeah we had we, had we had like a mobile adverts we had we're in lots of different commercials and and we, we've loads of loads of stuff coming up like loads of exciting projects yeah who we met that's been the most exciting you know in this long um, career who's who's really sort of impressed you well i think i think katie perry like we've met her about four times we we're at the grammy parties <gasps> and we were hanging out with ed sheeran and he's a, a real big jedward supporter and we, we met quincy jones and we're talking, you're joking yeah and, wow. and, but the coolest person we met is paul mccartney and what did he say um, did he, he know who you were? He First put, did he yeah, know who you were? Yeah, he yeah knew, he's our yeah. biggest he, he, fan. He put us on the phone to his grandchildren. No! And, he, and the other day we were talking to him, um, we were hanging out with his family, his family were in Because we, we, we recorded the Slammer, Jim Slammer. Oh, right, okay. And we recorded this Christmas special for that. And, and all his family were and there. And his family, I think, are his and they family were all related. And they were all telling us that he's a massive Jared fan. <laughs> it's fantastic, isn't it? Louis Walsh, what's he like? Uh, I think Louis cool. Like he, he's like from Ireland, and he's mm -hmm. always doing the X Factor. Yeah. And he's, he's, he'll always be our friend. He'll always bring us maybe out for dinner. But he's, he's not our manager right now. No, no, no. But uh, so those are the bits I know. I want to know what you know about him. What's, um, he, like? What's he really like? Well, he likes to have fish and chips Does and he? and mushy peas. Mushy that's peas. What he, that's what he usually eats. <laughs> and he likes collecting artwork and Does he paintings. Like fish. Is, is he very very rich? Um, I don't know. Is I think a leprechaun. Yeah, he, he, yeah, he's got like pots of gold. <laughs> Just like the rainbow. <laughs> uh, he didn't really eat it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Simon Cowell. Uh, Simon Cowell. Um, he likes. He's a bit mean, isn't he? He likes um, having kids and stuff. <laughs> Allegedly. He's got a glow. He's got a, he's got a glow off him, like it, like an oompa loompa glow. Normal people have showers. He has spray tans. <laughs> So, uh, this, uh, just one a couple of things. So got, I've got a minute or so before I lose you. So, oh, cool. uh, summer holidays, have you been anywhere nice? Uh, the summer holidays, well, we usually we go to countries just to like do TV shows. That's kind of like a holiday for us. Um, where, John? We are in Los Angeles and it was really, really hot, but we didn't yeah. go out. But yeah, we were actually in Ireland. It didn't rain in Ireland for 15 it, days. Yeah, it didn't rain in Ireland for 15 days and it was like a oh. really, really good holiday. Like we were thinking of getting a, a swimming pool, like a, a blow-up swimming pool of Margus. <laughs> it's amazing, boys, isn't it? What about... Um, Girlfriends, boyfriends, anything like uh, that? Well, right now, our it's actually fans... It's crazy. I'll just think about it your day. Like, it's like, how am I going to get a girlfriend? Like, I don't know how it's going to happen. I know there's lots of girls that we know and, and stuff, but like, yeah. you know, like people have girlfriends. Like, we haven't even got around to like having a girlfriend. No. We have a girlfriend right now. No, good. But well, yeah, we could. You could do. It's, it's, I just feel like me and Edda were real busy. Like, we, we just you have... can't fit them in. No. How old are you now, by the way? Sorry, I've just... We're 21. 21? Yeah. you got got plenty of time, money for all that. Yeah, we do, because I feel like me and Eric, we've got loads of time for that. And like right now, it's all about our fans. They're the only girls in our life. Okay, well, anything you want to say to the people of Wales then, just before I, before I lose you? What I want to say to all the people in Wales is that we love Wales so much. It's got great culture, amazing, and we're just really excited about coming to Wales and 
seeing all our fans we haven't seen in so long and we just can't wait for it it's going to be amazing loads of it's going to be deadly so everyone listening come around to the show 30th September St David Hall and thanks for listening John and Edward Grimes um, the world would be a, a paler place without you a darker place we're without, actually without pale you. but that's cool <laughs> <laughs> Edward thanks very much thank for your you time. so much God bless you thank you everyone stay safe <laughs>